Hi all, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we will be looking on one more concept in functional programming or you can call this as higher pro order functions, which is reduce. So in the last couple of tutorials, we have seen methods like filter, rejects, map, okay? So I will just summarize those out uh, before starting on reduce, okay? So what exactly the filter does? It takes an array and it converts that array into a reduced array kind of thing. Okay, so uh, you can say ki if uh, array has a length of n, so the length of actual array which we will get after the filtration process may be n or less than n. Okay, so the length will get decreased when we are using filter. Okay, in the similar way, if we are using reject, the scenario is the same. So it converts the one array into a reduced array kind of thing. Okay, on the other hand, with respect to map, okay, when we take, when we perform certain actions uh, on an array using map okay so it can it transform one array into a different array but the le level or you can say the length of the array will remain the constant okay so if you are facing a scenario where you have a business requirement but it's not meeting your business requirement by filter reject or map then you can move to reduce so what exactly reduces so as you can see on my screen so the reduce method executes a reducer function for each value of an array. So basically it iterates throughout the array, okay? Uh, it just uh, acts like a for each, okay? And it returns a single value, uh, okay? Out As the output of the function, okay? The third point, it does not execute for the empty array as it's, it's completely based on the iterator. If your array is empty, then it will definitely not, uh, not, uh, execute and the second it, as always it doesn't change the original array perfect so let's look into some example okay which talks about this so let's comment this out and let's take an example for example you have a requirement uh, like you have an array called variable mm, order the path as the sum in the Uh, let's consider a variable order okay and it has attributes like let's not define json let's define an array okay array of elements and let's create an um, attribute called amount and let's give it a value as 50 okay and now i will copy paste the same so it will be 50 then i will give it as 100, 200, 400, whatever it is. Okay. So let's, I'm just defining an array and we will be working on this array then. Okay. So for example, you have a requirement where you want to do the summation of all the amounts, okay, in the order array. Okay. So how exactly you do? Like you, if let's we will look, jump on to reduce afterward let's try with the primitive for loop okay so for that what we will do we'll define a variable called variable amount or we can call it total amount equal to and we will def uh, we will make it a default value as zero then what we'll do we will define a for variable i equal to zero i less than what it is order dot length i plus plus okay and inside this we will re define a logic like total amount plus equal to okay so we are just keep on incremental sum incremental summation you can say so it's like order of i dot amount so how exactly it works it will first the order total amount will be zero then the order will come as the amount will come as 50 in the first iteration so it will add 50 over zero it will be 50 then again it will add 100 200 in the similar way it goes and if we do gs dot log and um, log or uh, gs dot info okay and if we give total amount so let's see what the outcome is so if i run it out 
so the outcome came as 1050 perfect okay now if i want to define the same logic using radius okay what i can do the syntax will be the same similar to what we have for filter reject and map so what we will do we will do variable total amount but here it will not return an array it will return a single entity so you can consider it total amount equal to order dot reduce and in reduce you will define a function function which will take attributes and then we have a method body right so this is how you define this is the uh, actual syntax for filter and map also and here we used to define the logic but here some things are different okay so here you have to define an point at which you want to start your loop so as you have defined as a default value as zero right you have to define the same from which particular point you have to start so i'll give it as zero sorry not here i'll give zero i want to start my summation from zero okay and then in function the first attribute which is the sum which we are passing over here so you have to define key what from where it should initialize so i have given a sum and the second attribute will be the actual entity which is the i will give order and tt tt okay so it has two attributes and now we can simply return what i will return i will return sum plus order dot order entity right entity dot amount so this is how the function looks like so what we did we did order dot reduce okay and we define a function okay in function we have added one more attribute is which you can call as a initial point from where the summation should start so i have defined it to zero as given the same attribute over here and the order entity will be the entity which will be iterating over okay let's see what is the outcome of this so uh, if i do js dot info and i will give ttt radius come and i will give total amount now i will comment the bo code and if we run the same okay let's see if we get the similar result it gave some exception it is a similar word okay i did comment to line number 31 where is line number 31 oh i missed to give concatenation sign if i run now so it gives the same result so this is how you can use re reduce whenever you, uh, your requirement is not matching filter re reject or map okay so and whenever you want to uh, return a single entity only or single value okay so this is all for today's video okay hope you understand the concept now and uh, you start implementing and start using high order function because this are pretty amazing to use okay and uh, it it makes your code less complex with less programming and uh, error free you can say okay so hope you like this video please like follow subscribe and subscribe please to get this kind to get the notification on this kind of videos coming in future okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you